Okay, everybody, I wanted to tell you that we are open for business. Um, we are seeing patients. We're currently doing as much as we can through telemedicine. Our nutritionists are seeing patients through um, Zoom and online. Uh, me and my nurse practitioner, Mimi, will be seeing patients in the office as needed. Um, everything else will be via telemedicine. Only patients that will need to be examined or touched will be coming in. We are open for business as far as we've got a hand washing station right by the door and we've got hand sanitizer, gloves, masks. And then of course, we are still trying, we're still selling supplements and things, um, but we will get them for you so you don't have to touch. Our office staff is still here, although they're <laughs> hiding from the camera. Uh, we're running a, a minimal shift right now. So as you can see, we're still open for business, seeing patients. There's our Linda. And so our <laughs> Our Linda's still doing vitamin infusions. And so we've got that um, set up as an isolation front also. So I'll take you through here. And we're isolating each patient that does an infusion by themselves. So we've got this room and an air purifier and um, every infusion after the patient is done, the area will be wiped down. Um, it, it's a little ghetto looking right now because we've taken every practitioner that's not in the office and working from home, we've taken their room and turned it into a vitamin infusion room. So the same thing in here, um, office desk pushed off to the side and in here every um, space has its own room and then after the patient is done we'll be wiping it down so i've got some other notes that i want to say um, so as i said well we're already down to limited employees in the office only the ones that need to be physically here but we are open for business unfortunately some of us will inevitably get covid19 and have to take time off but we're going to do what we can to stay here um, we're trying to wipe down all surfaces or as many surfaces as possible every two hours we try to get rid of anything porous uh, that we can't wipe down um, as I said earlier on the supplement wall, we're trying not to let anyone touch anything and we will get everything for you. Let's see what else I said. Um, if you do need to be evaluated, so there is no current treatment for COVID-19, um, but remember that complications can happen with asthma and COPD and dehydration and all those things. So we will be uh, open for treatment as long as supplies last. That's the concerning part that so many supplies have been shut down and, and used up that we may not have supplies forever. Uh, for as far as COVID-19 testing at this very moment, we still don't have kits. We've ordered from uh, multiple places, to try to get kits in. We will, be, we will be doing parking lot testing uh, for our patients. Unless they need to be evaluated, then we'll be bringing them in. And if they come in, they will be put in a separate isolation room that will be wiped down uh, completely before they leave or after they leave. Once tests are more readily available, we will be offering them to the public and anyone else that wants to um, be tested. But as of this moment right now, uh, March 17th, let me check that. Yeah, March 17th, we don't have any kits in hand. Um, and, and that's all I have to say. So I hope everyone is practicing their social isolation. We are definitely on lockdown as much as we can here. But as far as um, I know, a lot of doctor's offices are shunning away COVID patients and, and not wanting to see them. We're, we're trying to do our due diligence of helping the community and trying to keep the healthcare system uh, out of trouble. I've heard reports that the health department is telling people to go to the ER to get tested and that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I would rather you stay home and healthy than go to a place where sick people are communing because even if you don't have COVID, if you go there, you were likely to get it. So right now there's not really a lot of testing centers and tests available to the public, but they will be coming hopefully. Um, I know the US is behind on this and I will be making more video and posting to Facebook and social media as we get test kits in hand. So um, the other thing I'll be setting up is I'll be setting up a, um, a question and answer and online Zoom uh, meeting for people to join and ask questions directly to me about whatever may be going on, uh, their case or their health or whatever it can be. And so if you wanna sign up for that, that meeting when we launch it, I'm gonna to try to do my first one on Thursday, then just go to my website, oobmedical.com slash COVID-19, no hyphen in the COVID-19, and, um, and just fill out the form and we'll be contacting everyone through that signs up through that form. You can also watch my COVID-19 update that I did yesterday. Uh, it's published to YouTube, it's on Facebook, and uh, it's actually on that website also, oobmedical.com slash COVID-19. If you don't know how to spell my last name, it's O-U-B-R-E medical.com. Uh, hope this helps everybody. See you soon.